now we just had a group chat with a lot of I, mean, I haven't seen them for ages so it was of course we all become you know uh, childish and and uh, tease one another it was it was that kind of feeling on set you you like to tease one another it was great being a part of, of uh, the last kingdom because i've um I was always interested as a kid of, of, of history and, and uh, my grandmother used to tell me a lot of, you know, tell me stories and I started reading and it was uh, uh, something in school that I was very fond of, 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 of learning the story of, of uh, you know, history. And, um, but I never thought that I would be um, a part of the Viking-ish um, I mean, I'm from Sweden and I could see people then friends that I knew, colleagues that were just doing Vikings and stuff like that. And uh, on the on the on the Discovery Channel. Um, but I never thought I'd be part of something uh, that was uh, even more, you know, historical and had that kind of uh, the the um, the depth of story which uh, the Last Kingdom had. Uh, so when I read this, you know, when I read the first breakout scenes, of, oh, and uh, uh, I was re I really fell in love with it. And uh, I actually auditioned for as Zutred, I mean, the first season. <laughs> so so I auditioned for like four times because I, I felt uh, that was part of my okay. So it's audition for for uh, the Last Kingdom again. I got the break breakdown from my agent in, in the UK and. And, and it was always like something, a good reminder of, oh, I really want to be part of this because uh, it's really interesting to tell the story about how the, the United Kingdom was created and how it all started with, uh, with the impact from the Danes and the, the Northmen. And uh, it's, it's a big part of our history as well, you know, the, the Scandinavians, Scandinavians and, 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 uh, and also the story that, you know, there were no borders back then. You know, people could just travel, they could, you know, be, I mean, they weren't always friendly to one another, but they were actually, I mean, the borders were still open and they could negotiate and, you know, communicate with one another in a way we can't do now. So, and also how language and, uh, and culture, so it all started from, you know, started from, you know, no borders and uh, and actually just uh, seeing each other and uh, so it's great I, I i really love the 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 and i think eric as a character was a really good one because i i i really enjoyed his soft values as a viking when he fell in love <laughs> and uh, when he actually learned to see something about himself that he wasn't you know too to exist is to relate and when he started relating to this woman that he fell in love with he, could, he felt that he existed for the first time it was great i'm, I'm more of a pacifist than a, a fighter so uh, so for me it was great uh the hard i mean people were asking earlier like what was the hardest thing to do and that was to fight for me <laughs> fighting scenes so, <laughs> or being angry uh well uh, angry you can all you know as the story developed in a way and i i didn't get to read all the scenes but i knew the arc of, of eric but it was interesting to follow up with uh, you know see how oh he gets even softer and softer he just and it's yeah it's kind of like humane isn't it when you fall in love and it's uh and you, you know, you, you, you surrender to love the way he did, and he died, of course, and uh, and um, love. But at the same time, love conquers everything. So, so something good came out of it. Um, but I, I felt like this is, uh, you know, I've, every time you, it's not often you find a character that is ha has this kind of arc when he actually dies the way like, you know, Romeo and Romeo and Juliet or something like that. It's just like, oh, this is this is something juicy and interesting. I'm really, I'm really grateful that, you know, Eric fell in my lap 
instead of other characters that I auditioned for, <laughs> you know, previously. Uh, so yeah, I'm super grateful for, for being a part of The Last Kingdom in that sense, yeah. Oh yes, we're still friends. Uh, we texted yesterday, so, and uh, we knew each other from Sweden. We weren't friends, you know, that, you know, we weren't buddies and brothers like we're now. Uh, but, or bro bros, like he likes to say it. I'm not gonna say he says that, it's just, it's a joke. But, um, no, um, I had so much, uh, I'll be honest, it's, it's just a great actor and he's done a lot of things on theater, he's been working with great playwrights and, uh, so he was, yeah, it was a role model to work with as well. You just feel like, oh, I'm gonna work with Bjorn Bengtsson and and, and uh, uh, we have this great playwright, one of the best in Sweden, who just died recently, uh, two weeks ago, and Bjorn was in a big show with him. I just felt like, wow, you know, when you get to that point <laughs> in your acting career, and then at the same time, we were like brothers and uh, my, um acting is a lot you know acting is not all about you it's very much about uh reacting you know you just like you want to make uh and i think for eric the focus was really about you know always his brother but then all of a sudden you know the focus tends to shift to this new person in his life so it's the, the interesting part was, you know, it was not never about Eric in a way. It was just always about secret, secret, secret. And then oh, comes this girl and he falls in love. And uh, that was really fun to play with. And you can feel different energies. I mean, me and Bjorn, we got different energies. I mean, uh, but we, we, you know, we complete one another. I heard that he was going to die. I thought he was going to die earlier. It wasn't really like, oh, and your character dies. And I was like, okay, I right, well, whatever. But this is kind of, yeah. And I wasn't really sure about the character. And then there was this love story in it. I was like, hmm, as I said earlier, this is interesting. And, uh, but I didn't know we were going to die so late in the game. As, so we become, you know, didn't know we were going to become the, the lead antagonists in season two. Uh, uh so and uh and that is uh he was gonna get killed by his brother uh but you know when we read the script now and then it's just, you you add that into it you know when eric takes care of his arm you know his hand uh you know the sword on his hand that actually kills him in the end it just needs to you know you work through the the scenes it's just like Oh, I need to take care of your brother. And then at the end, he just like, it's so sad. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you, um, I have no brothers. I have two sisters. Uh, so, but Bjorn has a brother. Uh, uh, so we talked a lot about, you know, brotherhood and, and uh, but you know, you would, you do everything everything, I would do everything for my sisters, you know, I'd like waste my life for them as well. Uh, so when you, when there's, I mean, when you, you decide to kill your sibling, oh, I can't imagine, well, well yeah, it's, um, as he said, you killed us both. I mean, he dies in that scene, you know, as well. So they, they both die. And of course he dies later on, uh, um, but, uh, it's such a great, I love the arc when, when they try, you know, you just like, you, you try to, uh, you, the more you, you know, you gasp, you, or you want to grab everything, you want to gain everything out of the world. Uh, uh, and Eric, Eric understands in the middle of, you know, his life or, you know, when he, falls in love that it actually is not about gaining it's about giving and and, and uh, so you you, you it, i mean it's one of i think that that narrative is still very interesting when you you 
course you die because you try to gain so much out of life and then you just stop you can't stop I, I, I wish that uh, Siegfried would have been like oh I'm happy for you guys and I'm not going to take over London and so <laughs> I'm going to stay here and then they would still be alive probably uh, but that's not a fun story is it I, yeah it was a bliss to work with with Bjorn uh, and I think we both gave i mean you i, I played secret and 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 and, uh, and um, bjorn played eric as well you know oh, wow we killed richard rankin who's in outlander uh but he never got killed in the show but it was fun to kill him uh that was one of the first days <laughs> uh well i mean i mean it was always fun uh, people are like, what was the hardest part? And then the, we've been asking those questions. But like, it hasn't been that hard because it was just a roller coaster of fun making The Last Kingdom. It was really fun doing it. Uh, and there's a lot, I mean, Yeppe is a joker himself as well as he plays the joker Heston, but it was fun work with him. Now we just had a group chat with a lot of, I, mean, I haven't seen them for ages. So it was, of course, we all become, you know, uh, childish and, and uh, tease one another. It was it was that kind of feeling on set. You you like to tease one another. And, and uh, so I can't remember a particular, you know, situation, but it was, uh, everything was fun. It was just great fun doing it. Oh, Kevin is a, is a great director. I mean, how young is that guy? Seven years old, I'm just kidding. He's really young. He's done a lot of things. And uh, um, being that young and having that, I mean, um, can Lutz said something about that he's like this a young Steven Spielberg. And I can, I can, I, 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 I agree to that point that he's really, uh, I mean, Spielberg had this uh, uh, this theme in all his films, and I can feel that I understand Kevin's theme. It is something that is uh, not only. I mean, it's. I mean, the films are a bit scary and uh, uh, and thrillerish, and but it's. Um, he's. Um, I've never worked the way I did with Kevin before because it's it's, uh, it's also the, the the fact that he's um, he's a uh, he's 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 um, he trusts his actors so much that they can actually do whatever they want to do. But you know you don't want to have that ah playground. So so of course you listen and try to do as he wants it. You know it's. Um, do it his way, but when you watch it, it's you know he's he knows exactly what he wants, which is so interesting. And being that young and having that uh, that talent is is uh, not many not many people have that talent like as Kagan the way Kagan does. It. So is it so it's just uh, yeah, it's, and hopefully potentially we'll work again. Uh, I think he's going to do more things. And I know it's going to be a feature soon. I hope you will.